Hi, Jody. Hi, good to meet you. Um, tell me about the work that you've been uh, doing here for Ups Upfest. So, the piece that you see behind me is uh, a model by the name of Cassie Meadow. She is from LA. She's actually an artist herself, very accomplished artist. And I collaborate with her on um, certain pieces. So, she sent me this photo. I've superimposed my own kind of stuff onto it. And then uh, this piece that I did was actually on the front cover of Bristol Magazine. Uh, so this is my opportunity to do it three stories high. Uh, so it's been hampered a bit by the weather, unfortunately. It's been <coughs> towards the case. It's a bit like uh, a bit like Wimbledon or Glastonbury or the British Grand Prix. You know, you always get bad weather. And and you're you're sorry, I interrupted you there. But in terms of, um, you know, I mean, you, you're a local artist. And no, no, no. I'm from I'm from Bristol, born and bred. Although it doesn't quite show my accent. Uh, if I'm really tired, it comes out. But uh, no, no, I, I live sort of four or five miles down the road, not too far away. So what, what's the Bristol street art scene like? It's very vibrant. It's always been um, very, very diverse culturally, I think, for many reasons. Um, I think geographically it's got, it's got something going on. With it. I think the music scene is very much, obviously, Massive Attack and Porter said, those kind of tricky, those kind of characters have always been around and part of the scene. But they've taken hip-hop culture and kind of made it kind of kind of a Bristol filter kind of through it. Um, the, the graffiti scene sort of died in 1990 um, for various reasons. There were a lot of raids on, on people's houses. A lot of the artists got caught, they worked illegally. And then sort of towards the late 90s, early 2000s, that's when Banksy's kind of um, popularity became um, to the fore. Um, and then I painted from about 86 to about 1990. And, um, what, doing graph type work? Aerosol art, yeah, yeah, no, I painted in Bristol between 86, between 86 and about 1990. And then I took 18 years off and I started again in 2000. It's a long vacation. Yeah, very much so, yeah. I went to art college and I studied design and um, <coughs> illustration, so I went down that route. So tell me about your style then. What, what is it that you, what's your technique? I'd say it was photorealism, really. I try and get things as sharp as I can. Yeah. It's something that I quite enjoy doing. And it tends to it causes you know people take lots of pictures. I know this kind of work has a has a kind of a, a lifespan not just on the wall but online as well. Mm. It tends to sort of you know obviously on Instagram and Facebook and you know those kind of things. Flickr as well. Um, it tends to um, not have any borders in terms of. I've had people tell them who hardly speak any English. So you know, I, and they don't need to decode anything. It's it's a face. It's something that everyone can have a connection with. You know so. And, and last year you painted a really sort of, uh, you know, th probably the, one of the iconic pieces of Upfest. Was it 2016? Really sort of... 2016, yeah. Who was who that of? I mean, that's gone now, sadly. It's same, oh, it's same woman, same, same artist. It's Cassie, yeah, same again, woman. yeah, yeah. So um, it was her again with another image that she sent me. We collaborated a bit. I get her say so. You know, I, I make sure that she's okay with it because, you know, when she... <coughs> She posts it up herself, and she's got yeah. a lot more followers than I have. So, uh, but uh, she's a photographer and an artist herself, and so we're kind of in the same boat. So I like to be able to, you know, sort of uh, give her the props that she's used. That you know that I've used the, her image, and um, obviously it's her face up there, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, just about the you know the, the the festival itself. I mean, it's absolutely rammed yes. in Britain. What what is, what is it? What sort of boost does it give? Uh, you know, street art um, having a festival like this, having the public. So interested in well, it. Well, I, I always say that Upfest is, is, the, is the street art version of Glastonbury. It's the Glastonbury of street art, basically. So you've got all the main stages and stuff, but you've got so many other things going on, obviously music and food and you know dance. They've got all sorts of competitions, uh, workshops and stuff like that. So it's very much... And the nucleus is around sort of North Street, but you have these little enclaves here and there, little off streets. This street, for example, is fairly quiet. But, you know, if you go down onto North Street, it's like Rio Carnival. Oh, yes, I'll see you around. Jody, thanks very much oh, for no, talking no, to me, mate. Okay.